In 1944, Lawrence Goodman was a 23-year-old Lancaster bomber pilot with 617 Squadron, famous for their precision bombing Dam Busters raid. We knew little about the Turpers except it was a big ship, very dangerous, kept the Royal Navy and the American Navy busy keeping it in port, as it were. Well, it took up much too much time, and it was important that somehow or other it, it was finally put to bed. With the right bomb and the right plane, the RAF believed it could take out the Turpets. The Lancaster was the only plane big enough to carry the massive bomb needed to sink it. The Tall Boy. The Tall Boy 12,000 pound bomb was an earthquake bomb designed by Barnes Wallace of Dambuster fame. The idea originally was to cause earthquakes, but it could penetrate inside a heavily armored ship, perhaps even more. The Lancasters were modified for this long range mission. Armor plating reduced, fuel tanks enlarged, if you got into a Lancaster that had been prepared for the Turpids, you thought you were in a petrol station, the smell in it. On September 15, 1944, Benny and 26 other Lancasters set off for the Turpids. My role was to concentrate solely on keeping that aircraft at the right height, at the right speed, on the right course, the only person who could talk was the bomb aimer, and he gave you any corrections. The weather was perfect. Turpitz was clearly visible close to the shore. I knew we were going to drop the bomb from the moment we started the run in. At about 14,000 feet, Goodman's aimer gave the order, bombs away. Of 17 tall boys dropped, only one hit, but it caused serious damage. The Turpets could no longer sail, but it was still a powerful gun battery. So the Germans towed the battleship to defend the major port of Tromsø. The Allies still needed to destroy the Turpets. After another failed Lancaster mission in October, on November 12th, the bombers took off for a third time. One tall boy exploded on the shore, but the Turpets was hit three times, then slowly began to capsize, trapping hundreds of men below decks. 971 were killed. Hitler's last battleship was no more. She was a target of, of submarines. She was a target of miniature submarines. She was a target of torpedo bombers, of heavy bombers, you name it. But through all this, she accomplished her major mission, which was to provide a threat that the British took very seriously. 40 years later, Britain was once more at war. A new enemy threatened her ships, armed with a deadly high-speed missile. 